Texas is suing Richardson ISD, among other school districts, because of mask mandates. State Attorney General Ken Paxson on Friday warned school districts that they are violating Governor Greg Abbott's executive order banning local mask mandates and that lawsuits would follow. Richardson is the only district in our area named in a lawsuit. Fox 4's Davidson Tendry reports. Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton says he's filing six lawsuits against six school districts that are defying Governor Greg Abbott's executive order regarding mask mandates. It's just a question of who has authority. The governor says districts can't have mask mandates, but SMU constitutional law professor Dale Carpenter says more than 80 districts across the state have them. He could have chosen any number of school districts. He chose six specifically, and we have no idea why. Richardson ISD is one of them. It's the only district in North Texas being sued. It's important to point out Richardson ISD joined an existing lawsuit against Governor Abbott back in August, claiming he's exceeding his authority by not allowing districts to create mandates. The critical importance of local control and local decisions to keep students safe and in school based on current health and safety conditions. Richardson ISD Superintendent Dr. Jeannie Stone doubled down on the district's stance in a video message last week in the midst of trying times. It had to close in-person learning at Brentfield Elementary because of COVID-19 outbreaks and shift to virtual learning. The school reopens Monday. Kids don't have the immunity wall that adults do. And remember that our elementary age children are not eligible for any vaccine. It's hard to say what the attorney general was thinking when he decided to sue just these six out of scores of districts that are defying the governor's order. And Dallas was the most prominent one to do so. And yet they are not in the crosshairs of the attorney general's lawsuits so far. Dallas ISD, like some other districts, has had their mask mandate in place since the first week of school. It was labeled a temporary solution. The Texas Education Agency has said it will not enforce the governor's order until the lawsuits are resolved. We could have had this same conversation a month ago. Why now? Why these districts? So how will the lawsuits play out? I think that the governor has a very strong claim that he has broad authority under the Texas Disaster Act. Carpenter believes it's a gray area because while the governor has authority under the Disaster Act, he must do so for the betterment of public health, and fewer masks could hurt his case. If the governor is not acting in a way that promotes the health of the public, then he's really not acting under his powers. And the only question in my mind will be whether a court is brave enough to say something like that in defiance of what the governor has done. David Centendry, Fox 4 News.